For many years, the diesel-powered engine has been identified as one of the most economical and effective means of transportation in the world. Now, you've seen the light. You've decided to get in on some of the diesel advantages. There are many benefits that your GM diesel-powered passenger car can provide for you. You made the right move. You're one of many in this, the age of the diesel. Enjoy your decision and your car. We're most enthusiastic about all our diesel models, as you'll see. However, the driving experience varies from the gasoline engine. You should recognize that. My job is to take you by the hand and show you what you can expect. We'll do that and explain the reasons the diesel is the way it is. We will assume that you're familiar with the operation of the standard gasoline engine, so we'll only discuss the difference. In the first place, ignition is approached another way. In the diesel, we don't have spark plugs. Ignition of the fuel and air mixture is created by very high compression. Starting a cold diesel engine requires additional heat in the pre-chamber to ignite the air-fuel mixture. Uh, we accomplish this through glow plugs. It means that, depending on the outside temperature, you will have to wait until the engine combustion chamber is warmed up and ready to start. So first, you put the ignition key in the lock and turn it to run, not to start. The wait light will show you an amber glow. That's the way you recognize that the glow plug. The length of time it stays on depends on the present engine and coolant temperature. Now, it's never too long. Sometimes when the engine is already warm, the light doesn't even come on at all. In any case, when the wait light blinks out, turn the ignition key to the start position. There is a little extra advice here. One, don't leave the key in the run position. You're draining the battery. So move the key to start as soon as the light goes out. Two, in the remote chance that the wait light comes on again or does not go out, it could be a malfunction. Check it out with your dealer. If for some reason your engine fails to start, do not use any starting aids, such as ether, gasoline, or even diesel fuel starting fluids. They will damage the engine. Go through the starting procedure again and look at your instrument panel lights. You'll notice there's another light marked water in fuel. It's a warning light designed to let you know when excessive amounts of water have been pumped into your tank. This can happen at the time of refueling. The light is also designed to come on briefly every time you start up. That means the light system is working. It will go out quickly if everything is okay. If the light stays on, however, Chances are the system has water in it, and it must be purged. It is a specific procedure. Most of the time, it should be done at the dealership, although you can do it yourself if you carefully follow the directions described in your owner's manual. If the engine is operated with water in the fuel system, major damage to the engine could occur. For this reason, it is very important that the system be purged as soon as possible. The operation of a diesel engine is always affected by the weather in the areas where you're driving your car. Outside temperatures affect engine temperature. GM's fast glow plugs will cut the wait to start time to about six seconds at zero degrees Fahrenheit. If you're operating your diesel engine at extreme temperatures, frequently below zero, we recommend the diesel cold weather option. See your dealer for details. What fuel do you use in your tank? Sometimes that too depends on your location. Often, only number 2D diesel fuel is available. That fuel is fine if you expect temperatures above 20 degrees Fahrenheit. We strongly suggest that you do not use 2D fuel anytime the weather goes below 20 degrees Fahrenheit. In colder areas, Use number 1D whenever you expect the mercury to fall below 20 degrees Fahrenheit. In some cold areas, only a winterized blend of the 1D and 2D fuel is available. Check this out with your local service station. 
You'll notice a slight hissing sound as you remove the fuel cap from your tank, like this. That's a normal sound, so don't worry about it. Here's another important tip. Change both the oil and the oil filter every 5,000 miles. If you often drive under severe conditions, such as in dusty areas, be sure to check your maintenance schedule for shorter change intervals. The correct oil level and the viscosity, the, the ability of the oil to flow, are extremely significant in diesel engines. Remember, diesel engine oil capacities differ from those of gasoline engines, so be sure all levels are properly maintained. This is particularly important to remember when the engine oil is changed. All oil cans have the viscosity grade marked right on the cans. For any temperature level above 32 degrees, SAE 30 is the preferred grade. Below 32 degrees, the SAE 10W30 or 15W40 is the choice. Use only oil labeled with both service classifications SF and CC or SF and CD. Using oil other than those recommended can be harmful. It could even result in damage not covered under your warranty. There's a chart in your owner's manual. It'll tell you exactly what oil to use and at what temperature levels. Don't ever let any advertising or any attendant talk you into any other oil. No matter what the label reads, stick to your guns. Along with your owner's manual, you'll receive a maintenance schedule for your diesel-powered car. Follow this schedule precisely and you'll be pleased with the results. You're sure to notice that diesel engines do not sound the same as gasoline engines. The compression ignition of the diesel engine causes an audible sound unlike that of a gasoline engine. That is a normal diesel operating sound, a good sound. Visually, the diesel exhaust smoke may be a little darker than you're used to. Again, that's normal. The diesel engine often improves fuel economy. A little different care is recommended and needed. The diesel is a high precision engine. Maintenance, such as washing the engine, should be performed. Remember, you're driving a diesel equipped automobile for economy, so you should limit your trailer towing to no more than one ton. Your diesel is a remarkable engine. The economy benefits are well worth the extra cost. Relax and enjoy them.